Hey bunnies, it's so comfy like filming in my bed. I forget this. I have to film in my bed more often. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> and for my Halloween edition of videos, I'm going to tell you not one, but two scary stories. Um, one of them is actually kind of funny. Um, I think it, it, it speaks to some metaphysical things, but, and then the second one, you know, actually could be a mental health issue. So, you know, what we're just gonna dive right in then, okay? All right then. Okay, so the first one um, happened a couple of years ago, and let me get comfy. So yeah, the first one happened a couple of years ago. Um, if you know I do some acting, I'm in school for screenwriting, um, but I do have an acting background. And I was chosen to participate in a commercial um, what I was told the commercial was going to be for was some sort of hair product and they wanted kind of like a range of women like uh, black, Latina, and white to try this hair product and like I guess give a testimonial. I'm assuming they wanted the testimonials to be positive. Uh, so I went down there the first day and I think it was on that first day that we were supposed to shoot it but that didn't make sense because we were supposed to bring it back home and try it first so that was kind of a red flag. Anyway, so this office, let's just say the office was in Midtown and, um, and it just for, you know, just, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I signed a contract or whatever, but, you know, I'm not going to give details, but I'm just going to give you an overall picture. So, uh, so we were taken one by one to go from the place of kind of like the sign in with reception to go to the actual set and shoot the, the commercial. And I... Uh, when it was my turn, I think I was almost second to last. And it was a little interesting because all the girls that were there, it was probably like three or four of us. I was the last one, but I didn't see the girls come out, which I felt was weird. Like, I felt like if they took us to another location, shouldn't they have taken us back to the original location to kind of like sign out and sign our waivers, you know, for union or non-union? Like, because that's usually how things go. So that was a little bit of a second red flag for me. Um, so it was my turn, and I had one of the producers walk me to the the second location where we'd be filming. And I noticed that the second location was like uh, a hair salon. And the hair salon, uh, it was like a one of those, you know, like black hair salons where it's like, you know, lots of cool hairstyles and you know, all these frills and everything. And there was this feeling when I when I went inside that everyone was in on a joke that I wasn't in on. <laughs> like, it's just that feeling, you know? But I thought, well, we're, we're shooting a commercial, so maybe they're just in character. Like, that was also another possibility. So I'm sitting in the chair, and they sit me in one chair on one side, and still this feeling, like, these kind of inner smiles from everyone, like... Like, I feel like everyone looked like that, like... I thought, I don't know, maybe they're bad actors. I don't know. It was just really weird. So I'm sitting down, they sit me in front of what I'm assuming now are two-sided mirrors, but I'm assuming it's two-sided, but it was supposed to be a one-sided mirror where I was supposed to look at the mirror and kind of look at myself and then kind of figure out what I wanted to do and how I was going to use said product to, to mold my hair. While I look in the mirror, I look in it and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Maybe like a minute or so in, I zone out and then I see this flash of... <gasps> Like this flash of a possessed sea urchin girl sort of thing inside of the mirror, mind you. And, and the entire place was mirrored too. But that's not uncommon for a hair salon or for a set. So I, I don't believe my eyes. I'm thinking, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm not seeing what I think I'm seeing. You know, I'm, I must have it all wrong. Uh, I, I, I'm just seeing things. So I don't respond. I don't react. They move me around to the other side of the, the um, chair, or just kind of like the other side of the structure that was putting, that was in between both sides of the studio. So I was on the other side of the, the structure that was very mirrored. It was just like these, these mirrors. And I see this girl again, and she's like, ah! and it's like inside of the mirror. So it's kind of like, I guess the way it is, it's a double-sided mirror, and then it was like kind of like 
transparent in between it. Mind you, this is a commercial. Um, and I already signed, you know, that I was gonna be up for whatever was gonna be there. And at that point, I'm like, no, I saw it, I saw it. And I'm a weirdo, like, I'm weird. Like, you're not gonna scare me. Like, that, that, that doesn't scare me. So I didn't respond the way they wanted me to respond. I was like, oh, did you see that? And I turned around and I said to the hairdresser, I was like, did you see that? She's like, see what? I was like, that thing, that girl, like, you saw that girl in there? She was like, no, I didn't see anything, sweetie. All right, so let's do this with your hair. So she keeps going into that mood. I'm like, no. <laughs> and I just started laughing because this is what happens to me when I feel uncomfortable. I just start laughing. I was laughing. Then I saw her again and she was closer to the mirror. Like she was coming closer, but she was like, ah. You know, she was just this possessed face. I was like, ah. <laughs> you guys are crazy. At no point did I give them the response they wanted to. They wanted a natural, authentic response of seeing some sort of possessed demon inside of these mar this marriage structure um, and me to freak out. But I didn't freak out because I knew I was coming there for a commercial one. And two, the reason why I bring this up as a ghost story is because part of me felt like my thoughts were being confirmed. You know, I, I felt, I always felt like there are other dimensions and there are other beings and other life forms, but I don't feel scared of those life forms. You know, like for me, those life forms are, how can I explain it? Those life forms are on another dimension and since we're in this dimension, they can't hurt us because they're from another dimension, you know? I don't know if you guys know about string theory. I don't know so much about string theory. I'm not gonna act like that's my my <laughs> my field or anything. But I do believe that there are other dimensions and there's there's just a lot going on and I feel that we're not in tune in, that we're not listening to the frequency, we're not in on the frequency of it because we're just plain old humans, you know? And who knows what happens in the afterlife, you know? So it doesn't scare me. I feel like the biggest threats to our safety are each other. Humans are your biggest threat. Humans are the boogeyman under your bed. So I've always felt that, but I also felt this feeling of being excited inside because I thought, oh yes, finally. And I can tell everyone I saw a ghost. Like I really wanted to, to hold on to that. And that is not what they wanted. So then after a while, they were like, yeah, surprise, you know, you're on candid camera. No, it wasn't candid camera, but producers came everyone came it was like yeah this was you know and then the girl came out they pulled her out and she was i i don't even want to say what the movie was but that movie that commercial has been out this this happened years ago um and she came out and i shook her hand and the makeup was bananas i was just like oh my god i saw you but i wasn't scared because i was like i believe in ghosts so like i believe in other life forms and other other types of beings that outside of humans and you know and animals and whatnot so i was just like oh i wish i really saw a ghost and they were like, you didn't respond the way you, you know. And then I did it a second time, giving them the response they wanted. But it wasn't authentic, so they didn't end up using my footage in the commercial, which was fine, you know. Um, but it was just funny to me. My reaction was hilarious to myself because I thought that I would be scared, and I was not scared. I was excited that I finally saw a ghost, and that confirmed what I already believed. So that's my <laughs> scary story number one. Scary story part two. Okay, so this is on her apartment. Um, but I just was having this feeling that a ghost was stalking my home. Um, just a little backstory. I have a, a close friend from Japan and she 